Hello there and thank you for joining us. You're watching Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames. Today our special celebrity guest is from one of my favorite TV shows growing up, The Brady Bunch. Susan Olson, who played Cindy Brady, will be coming on and joining us in just a few moments to talk about her experience as a child actor, as well as her new animal organization that she rescues animals through, Precious Paws. She's coming up, but first, it's entertainment news. Well, it looks like Warner Brothers will be re-releasing The Dark Knight to IMAX theaters in the very near future. The Dark Knight is the latest Batman feature film and stars Christian Bale and the late Keith Ledger in his last role before his untimely death in January of 2008. The movie has grossed almost $1 billion worldwide and was 2008's biggest in DVD sales. Well, remember John Ratzenberger who played Cliff the Mailman on Cheers? Well, he's a busy guy these days. Not only did he appear in Hallmark's recent holiday film, Our First Christmas, and also lend his voice to Toy Story 3, but now he just told me that his new film, The Village Barbershop, has been picked up for distribution by Monterey Films. He plays the lead, Al. Of course he's the lead. What else would he be? And you can also look for John Ratzenberger coming soon to this program as our celebrity guest in the very near future. Well, coming up is our special celebrity guest today from the Brady Bunch, Susan Olson. So don't go away. Want a healthier lifestyle? Feel rejuvenated, slow the aging process, and boost your immunity? Cleanse your body and become super hydrated with Canjin water. Through revolutionary technology, turn your contaminated tap water into great tasting, healthier water, where vitamins and minerals absorb easily. Canjin water helps normalize blood pressure, release excess body fat, and detox with every glass you drink. Visit our website or call 310-714-3154. Change your water, change your life with Canjin water. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Casual fine dining, succulent steaks and Italian favorites, a full bar, live entertainment nightly. Plus, Colombo's offers lunch and delivery service. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard in Eagle Rock. Manja. You want to get shocked? Then shocked, relived, and the end CD DVD packages by the explosive Feisty Piranhas is a must. Recorded in their own state-of-the-art studio and winners of numerous music awards. Live performances with the Misfits, Blue Oyster Cult, Nam. Look out for their new 2009 release live in SoCal Rock and CD DVD box set. Order your hot Feisty Piranhas merch at FeistyPiranhas.com today. For over half a century, Vendom Wine and Spirits has specialized in the finest rare and hand-picked wines along with a wide variety of unique spirits. Both of their Valley locations also carry a vast array of beers, top-of-the-line cigar products, and beautiful gourmet gift baskets. Come sample wines from all over the world during Vendom's popular wine and cheese tastings and classes. Whether you're on a budget or a high-end connoisseur, Vendom has something for everyone. With two convenient locations in Toluca Lake and Studio City, it's easy to shop Vendom Wine and Spirits. And welcome back to Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames. I am now absolutely honored to introduce one of my childhood heroes. <laughs> she played Cindy Brady on The Brady Bunch. This is Susan Olson. Thank you so much for coming today. It's great to be here. You Thank know, you. I was telling you uh, in the green room that this is full circle for me because I was about your age watching you on The Brady Bunch. Do you run into a lot of people like me who say, oh my gosh, I was your age, I was the same age yeah, you Yeah, I do, I do. And sometimes it's kind of surprising um, you know maybe there's there's like a director or somebody that I that I want to meet and it turns out they want to meet me uh, well of course who wouldn't <laughs> like, I mean and I forget it's, oh well I guess we grew up together and you know what's interesting is you still look the same a lot of child actors you can't recognize them these days like for an example Leif Garrett you would if he wasn't on TV yeah. so much you rec walking down the street you would not re recognize him from back in the day? I, I guess I am recognizable because people will come up to me and, you know, just like in a split second recognize me. To me, I think I look totally different. I now, think I'm a major disappointment too. <laughs> but my son looks like me. Really? Yeah. Now, when, when fans come up to you, do they go, Cindy, or do they go, Susan? You know, I'm surprised that they they do say Susan really? a lot. Okay. Um, I think it's that whole growing up together thing. They. 
I think that people are very aware that we were people who played the characters. Um, but, you know, here in L.A., people don't really say anything. So I think that I'm not being recognized, but they're just talking behind like, my dad. Did anybody here watch the Brady Bunch for crying oh, no, out I don't loud? want to be recognized. We were, we were pre-cable. There was three channels yeah. growing up, so you guys had the lion's share of the ratings. I mean, now the, the ratings that you had and the, and the ratings that oh, are considered gosh. big these days are like one to 100. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to talk about uh, your experiences on the Brady Bunch as well as your wonderful uh, pet organization, uh, Precious Paws. So it's a cat rescue. But first, I want to talk about the beginning of your career. You were actually a, a, a child singer and you sang on the Pat Boone show? <laughs> um, that actually was my second chance at a career. I, I had started when I was 14 months old. Um, everybody... It was, it's either a blessing or a curse. Everybody in my family, all the kids, four kids, we were all discovered at the age of um, either five or 14 months. When you say discovered, I mean, obviously not at Schwab's drugstore like Lana Turner. Was it at a grocery store? I mean, your kids, so. Well, my oldest brother was on a street corner. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, if you saw what he looked like, he looked like a cherub. Uh, he, wow. he was this, this gorgeous As child. you did and still do. Well, my, my mom and dad made some really cute kids, and they, they made four of them, but it took them a long time. Um, there's, there's like a decade in between each of us. Okay, so tell me how you got on the Pat Boone Show. By the way, you were singing I'm a Believer by Made Famous by the Monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I, um, I actually had done commercials and things when I was 14 months old. Um, my, my sister had decided to get out of the business. So when I was three, my mom took me out. Then I'm five years old, I'm in kindergarten, and a talent scout comes to the school and picks me to sing a song on the Pat Boone Show. And so the principal calls my mom in and, and tells her, thinking she's going to be thrilled that her kid gets to be on TV. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> Because she had spent years and years as a, as a mom on the set, and she didn't want to do that anymore. Oh. And it made her realize that she had never given me the chance to say yes or no about working. So I, I totally remember being um, outside of my kindergarten, <laughs> and my mom asked me, do you, do you want to work? Do you, do you want to do what your brothers and your sister did? Do you want an agent? I said, oh, yes, mommy, please, please. <laughs> I really want to work, and so I did. <laughs> there you go. And then, not only did you work, but then you moved on to working with the king. Oh, yes. What was oh. Elvis like? Well, doggone it. You know, I was supposed to have a much bigger role in that movie. But you had but a they role, hired Buffy. <laughs> You had a role for crying out loud. I did, but you know, that was because the director really liked me. Um, they wanted me to be actually in the movie. Um, it, have a, a role where I would have sang and danced with Elvis Presley. How old were you? I was six. Do you, so you remember a lot about oh, him. Oh yeah, well I, I didn't, I actually, I didn't think he was cool. <laughs> I, um, Cindy Brady didn't yeah, think Elvis I, I didn't, Presley was I cool. I did not That's like great. Elvis, and, um, but I knew that it was a big role. And anyway, they thought that I was too young to memorize all the songs and the, the dialogue and the dancing, but they still wanted me to do something. So they, they put me in the film just to sing again singing and I and I can't sing um, but I did I did get to meet Elvis and I'd have to say he made a huge impression on me he turned around and looked me in the eyes with those gorgeous eyes of his and I went oh oh he had that that thing. The, the presence, the, the aura? Yes. The larger Absol than life? Absolutely. And I was not a fan. I thought, you know, I and was silly. And you're six and you like, noticed Whoa. that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now moving from Elvis to the big one, the Brady Bunch, how did you get that role? I prayed really hard. <laughs> really? Um, I wanted a regular steady job. <laughs> I really did. I had done a show called Julia which starred Diane Carroll, mm -hmm. and um, I, I found out that the two boys that I was working with were actually regulars on the series. Regulars. That means you get to be in every episode. That's what I want to do. I want to be a regular. And, um, and I am irregular, but anyway. Um, I, I, I ended up kind of praying, o overdosing on the prayers because I had three chances to be in um, TV shows. One was Nan and the Professor. Oh, I love that show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, Gunsmoke, oh. they were going to write um, a, a wife and her kids into the show for Festus. And, um, and, and then Brady Bunch. And my grandmother said to me, uh, she goes, well, 
whatever's best is going to happen, but it wouldn't hurt if you put in a word to God <laughs> about um, which show you want the most. You, Think about it, which show would you like to do? And I said, well, the Brady Bunch, of course, because I'd have five other kids to play with. And so it you was. got it. Mm -hmm. All right, quickly, because um, we're going to go to a quick commercial break in a moment, but we have so much to get through. Tell us your fondest moment of uh, working on the Brady Bunch. Um, probably coming back for a really lousy show called The Brady's, which is when we were all grown up. Um, and it wasn't a very good show, and it didn't last. But I was scared to death to be on the set and, and working as an adult and playing Cindy. And there was a moment when um, I saw in the distance that Bob and Florence had arrived. It was my first day on the set. And I had this sudden, instant feeling of calm. Oh, Mom and Dad are here. There you go. And everything's going to be OK. That's awesome. And then I realized, gosh, this, is, this stuff's deep. <laughs> OK, what is your favorite episode of The Brady Bunch from uh, 1969 to 74? The one where Greg and Peter go on a double date, because I think it's genuinely <laughs> oh funny. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love Chris that. Knight eating the mustache <laughs> off, and, and the, great. isn't that the one where the frog it comes? No, that's in? the other one. That's my second. Oh, favorite. really? Okay, one, but they many did frogs too. died. The what? Many, many frogs died. Oh, really? Yeah, there weren't really good frog labor laws at the time. Ooh, okay. Uh, quickly, pr <laughs> proudest moment. Um, proudest moment. On the Brady Bunch. You know, it's it's funny because I really didn't I didn't take pride that much in the work. You're a kid, um, but I guess I guess it was when Eve Plum got sick, and there was a there was a script that was dedicated to her that, that she was going to be the lead in, and instead of giving it to Maureen, they gave it to me. Which which one was that? Because I know all the episodes. It, it was the one where um, we we, did, we put on the play in the backyard, the Snow White. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Remember when yeah, she has exactly. the apple? I know them all. And, and, and then there's and, dopey. Yeah. Yeah. And Alice was the wicked, <laughs> the wicked queen. Oh, that was awesome. And it was to raise money for school books. Yes. yes. See, I and, remember. And our teacher, Mrs. Whitfield, who was played mm -hmm. by our real teacher, Mrs. Oh, my Whitfield. gosh. Yeah. And I, my, my friends and family know that The Brady Bunch is my favorite show of all time. And within five seconds... I can tell which episode it is within five seconds, and they test me on it all the time because it's all loaded and all that, and I, I can that. tell them exactly like what. All right. I love that. I can do the same with I Love Lucy. Oh my, my gosh. gosh! Yeah, my son quizzes me. Like that. <laughs> all right, dear. Okay, Susan, we'll be right back. Uh, we got to go to a quick commercial break, and we're going to talk about Precious Paws and so many other things that you've done since the Brady Bunch days. So don't go away. Get that perfect shot with Barbara Porter Photography. Barbara's innate talent and friendly approach is simply the best. Actors, musicians, that special someone, and pets. Her gift certificates make an excellent gift for anyone. And don't forget those holiday photos and greeting cards, a great idea for any occasion. To view some of her incredible work, visit myspace.com, Barbara Porter Photography, or call 818-347-9472. You want to get shocked? Then shocked, relived, and the and CD DVD packages by the explosive Feisty Piranhas is a must. Recorded in their own state-of-the-art studio and winners of numerous music awards. Live performances with the Misfits, Blue Oyster Cult, Nam. Look out for their new 2009 release live in SoCal rock and CD DVD box set. Order your hot Feisty Piranhas merch at feistypiranhas.com today. Healthier lifestyle? Feel rejuvenated, slow the aging process, and boost your immunity? Cleanse your body and become super hydrated with Canjin water. Through revolutionary technology, turn your contaminated tap water into great tasting, healthier water, where vitamins and minerals absorb easily. Canjin water helps normalize blood pressure, release excess body fat, and detox with every glass you drink. Visit our website or call 310 714 3154. Change your water, change your life with Canjin water. For over half a century, Vandom Wine and Spirits has specialized in the finest rare and hand-picked wines along with a wide variety of unique spirits. Both of their Valley locations also carry a vast array of beers, top-of-the-line cigar products, and beautiful gourmet gift baskets. Come sample wines from all over the world during Vendom's popular wine and cheese tastings and classes. Whether you're on a budget or a high-end connoisseur, Vendom has something for everyone. With two convenient locations in Toluca Lake and Studio City, it's easy to shop Vendom Wine and Spirits. 
And welcome back to Focus in the Mix with Denise Ames. I still have Susan Olson, who of course played Cindy Brady on The Brady Bunch with me. Thanks again for doing this exclusive Thank interview. You. We're so honored. Oh. <laughs> okay, real quick, uh, for the fans out there, there's millions of them. Uh, I'm going to name the, the character and the actor, and then you tell me uh, one sentence, what they're doing today, how you feel about them, because I know you stay in touch with most of them. Okay, let's start with the late Robert Reed. Oh, um, I hope he's well in heaven. Wonderful man. Wonderful. Okay, Florence Henderson. Uh, she's just great. She is my other mother, and she's Grandma Flo to my son. Oh, and uh, the woman that played Alice, uh, I cannot remember her real name. Anne B. Davis. That's she's right. doing great. She looks wonderful. And you still... I, yeah, I saw her about two months ago. Wow. Okay, Maureen McCormick, who played Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Maureen is feeling wonderful because I think writing her book was very cathartic for her. And I love Maureen because she's had no plastic surgery and she doesn't care about her weight. Yes. <laughs> and you know what is interesting also is Maureen said a lot of, uh, she revealed a lot of like not so cool oh. secrets. And the other Bradys came on TV and backed her up and said, Well, those yeah, we were know true. those things. We've but a lot of people, even though they're true, they deny them anyway. And I thought it was really cool when. Uh, Greg Brady went on. I, I think it's cool that um, we never told her secrets all these years. Yeah, that is cool. Because yeah. huh? it yeah. made the book sell even more because nobody <laughs> knew that. Okay, so let's talk about Barry Williams, uh, who played Greg. Oh, he's great. I just saw him. We've all gotten together recently because we may be working together. It's a secret project. Ooh, but you heard it here first. Yeah. Yes. All right, Christopher Knight, who played, of course, Peter. Christopher Knight, he's gorgeous. He gets younger by the day. I want to know what coven he joined because I want to join too because he looks so great. Well, he married he's happily married. He married a child. That's what's keeping him young. It is. Well, it's good. But I, I like Adrian. I think she's I a neat person. I love Adrian she's a very and they are very happy. Good. Well, that's yeah. good to know from like in, for, for